tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Here we are at Perfect Day at Coco Cay, seeing the private island for the first time. Really cool entrance as you guys can see here. We got trams, cars to take people back and forth if you want. Block is obviously not too far though. That slide that you guys see there, we're going to be doing. Hopefully they'll let me bring this little camera on all the slides so I can show you guys the experience. But that slide right there is actually the tallest slide in the United States, which is pretty cool. That's like the marquee slide that you see over there. So we're going to be doing the water park today. We got uh, reservations for uh, doing the zip line, which is going to be fun. Uh, going to be checking out their pool and stuff and the beach. So it'll be a good time. Perfect day at Coco Cay. Theme song going on. Jamming. Perfect day. They got a theme song. <laughs> you said they made their own theme song? Yeah. I'm noticing it. They keep saying perfect day. Perfect day. Oh my god, that's so good. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Good morning. Here's the uh, wave pool right here that they got going on. Those are the zip lines up there that I was talking about earlier. If you guys can see that from up there, I kind of go across the whole entire area, which is fun. <laughs> here we are, chilling in the wave pool. Hanging out. Yeah. A perfect day at Coco Pit in the wave pool. Wave pools are always fun, so they got this giant wave pool here that you can use. The price for uh, the, the water park kind of varies by day, just so you guys know. Uh, we ended up paying like 160, which is obviously expensive, uh, but considering this is my first time here, I wanted to experience the island as much as possible. But um, yeah, wave pool's fun, and it's nice and big, and the waves are good. Chilling out. After it. This is the slide we're about to do right here. This is a little tube we have going on. We're about to be on next. Set your legs, sir. What? Set your legs. Yeah. Good, good, good. A little bit move here, buddy. Yes. See ya. Ready? Yep. Ready? Three, Good time, two, buddy. One, let's go. Okay, let's go. Enjoy, guys. Thanks. Yep. And I got backwards. Have you been on this before? No, I haven't. Is this your first time? No. Oh. Oh, here we go. Drop time and you guys are getting a perfect view. Woo! Got some height on that. <laughs> Damn, that was fun. Definitely got height on that. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. <laughs> Alright guys, we're about to do the twister. As you guys can see here, this tube slider right here for two people, this purple and green one. Mm -hmm. 
That other one that we just did over there was crazy, as you guys saw. That drop was insane. You guys got a perfectly good view of that. Because you saw me going backwards with that drop. I feel like I got some height. I got to watch that video put back after I edit it for you guys to see how much height I got on that ride. But now we're doing this one. Ready? Yep. How are you today? Good, how are you? Thank you. Woo! We got some lights in here. Oh, I like it. Not as intense as the other one, but still fun. But it has you go like this, it goes like up. Like, how's you go like side? <laughs> So this is Breezy Bay. We're on the beach side of Breezy Bay here. You can see the little cabanas over there with the slides. <laughs> Hanging out at the beach since I got kicked out of the water slides that you guys saw me ride before because I saw lightning in the area, so that's fun. <laughs> Look who's back. Look who's back. <laughs> back again. <laughs> <laughs> And just like that, the Blue Lagoon is now open. That was a pretty long shutdown though. We lost about like almost two hours because of the lightning in the area. But it is now 1230 and we're finally back in. Enjoying the rest of the day, which is great. At least I got to see the beach for a little while, which is good. I got to do some of the water slides. We still need to go back there because I need to do Devil's Peak because we got kicked out when I got to the top because of uh, the stuff. So hopefully I get back on that right before we leave. Uh, my zip line got canceled though, because it's a little bit too late. Who's surprised that I got another strawberry daiquiri in my hand? Absolutely nobody, because that's all I always drink. Who's surprised? Nobody. Strawberry daiquiri, pina colada, all frozen stuff. My Malibu Bay Breeze that you guys saw. Those are my drinks. Cause the main is gonna hate, play, 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 play. The main is gonna hate, 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 hate. Shake, 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 shake. Shake it off, shake it off. 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 This is the view from the top of Devil's Peak here that we're about to ride the highest slide uh, in the United States, which is insane. And this is the view. I don't know if it's coming across in the video, but we are really high up um, from the top. And you, it's a great view to see everything around here. It's awesome. As we're here at the top, after two failed attempts, <laughs> we're finally up here, three people away on Devil's Peak. We got really a nice view of the whole entire island up here. You can see all of it. Really nice view up here. I'm about to take you guys down Devil's Peak. Let's see how it goes. There's a slide right there. There, Devil's Peak. Highest slide in the United States. Right at the top. Have fun. Yeah, good luck. Sure. Thank you.
That was fun, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was crazy. There's the video of exactly how tall we just came down. You caught some major speed on that slide, as you guys saw. That was insane. The lights inside were cool, but that speed is not something I expected. I almost lost my pants on the way out. That was insane. This is the swim up bar that they had there at the Oasis Lagoon that I was showing you guys before. This place was definitely popping, a bar inside, people having a good time, music playing, and me doing my singing as I usually do. Who's surprised? Love karaoke. These folks right here were awesome. They had a water pond going on and they let everyone play. They were throwing the ball to everyone. I got a couple of shots in, but missed entirely. But uh, these folks were awesome, having everyone get a good time throwing the ball and trying to get it in. And uh, yeah, good time. I catch a zip line for you guys somewhere else so I can uh, show you guys with this camera. But either way, you guys saw some pretty uh, good slides, pretty good day, pool. It was a lot of fun. That the pool was humongous. And now, uh, as you can see in front of me, we're heading back to uh, the boat. It's about three o'clock right now. We have to be back by 3:30, and uh, probably gonna head up to the pool. See what that scene looks like. After that exciting day at Coco K, we obviously went to dinner and this is the soup that I got. The soup was really good. I forget the exact name of the soup, but it was really good. And uh, then I got two dinner meals. Who's surprised? I told you I got a, a couple of each one. This is the chicken parm meal with spaghetti that I had, which also tasted really good. 
uh, even though it's a simplistic meal. And then the lasagna is honestly the only thing that really stands out as me being disappointed with because that cheese on top of it just doesn't match with lasagna. It's such a thick cheese that I just didn't like it at all and it kind of ruined the lasagna for me. Only thing I didn't like the whole entire trip uh, was that and maybe one other thing. But uh, this is a dessert that was kind of made of like some peanut butter and nuts thing. It was really, really good with some strawberries on top. Uh, definitely a really good dessert there as well. I'm sure no one's surprised about this because everyone probably does this on a cruise, but obviously getting 1 a.m. pizza. This is the same day that the uh, women's international team is playing a game at 3 in the morning against Portugal, so trying to watch the game at 3 in the morning, so what better way to stay awake than having 3 a.m. pizza? Or sorry, 1 a.m. pizza. What's your favorite puzzle? And they're back again. <laughs> So I had a great time at my first time visiting Royal Caribbean's private island, Coco Cay. Uh, I got to do most of what I wanted. The only thing I missed out on was that zip line due to the bad weather. But overall, fantastic time. The pools were amazing. The water park is great, even though it is, you know, expensive like we talked about. But they do have that slide that's the tallest in the United States, which is a ton of fun. And a couple other slides you guys saw. The Oasis Lagoon was awesome. Their beach is really nice. Water's amazing. I didn't show too much of the beach because I wasn't there too much. But, um... You know, the time that you guys did see us in the water and stuff, the water was amazing, uh, very clear, no rocks or anything in the water and all that kind of stuff that you expect when you go to, you know, the Caribbean and stuff like that in the Bahamas. And it's amazing. And I can't wait to come back. So stay tuned for, uh, you know, more things coming up here. Like I said, this is now day, t uh, day two. We'll be coming back with day three, guys. And as always, if you guys want to book your next vacation, whether it be on Royal Caribbean or Disney or wherever you want to go, make sure if you want to support me to reach out to me so I can uh, help you out and get that vacation planned and don't forget it's 100 percent free to do so you're just supporting me other than that guys thank you guys for watching till next time